Hello kindergarten. So now that we have read the story, uh, there's a monster under my bed. We're going to draw our very own monster. Um, and you can see we're going to start with different kinds of lines, curved lines, straight lines. We're going to use a bumpy line or a zigzag line. And then we're also going to use some shapes like ovals and circles and maybe even some triangles. So the way that we start this, so you're going to start with a piece of paper. You need to write your name on your paper and the day you have art, day A, day B, day C. And then you're going to flip your paper over and you want to have your paper vertical, tall ways, not wide ways or horizontal, not horizontal, vertical. And you're going to start with a curved line. You're going to start at the bottom of your paper and you're going to go up near the top and all the way back down to the other side of the paper, all the way at the bottom. And then I want you to pick what kind of hair you want. Do you want to do straight hair all the way around? Do you want to do curly hair? Do you want to do zigzag hair? Whatever kind of hair you want, you're going to do it all the way around. And you could change it. Maybe you do zigzag at the top and straight on the sides. Maybe you just do hair on the top of his head. Whatever you want. Then you're going to start with the eyes. The eyes are circles or ovals, whatever you want to draw, and they go inside your monster near the top of your monster's face. And then inside each eye, I want you to draw a small oval. And you can put them um, uh, at the same spot in each of the eyes, or you can put one high and one low to make them look silly. You can put them in the middle um, of the face so he looks cross-eyed, whatever you want. So I'm going to do one small oval inside the eye there and then one small oval inside the eye here so it kind of looks a little kooky. You want to do some eyebrows. You could do straight eyebrows and make them look mad. You could do curved eyebrows. Um, I'm going to do some straight eyebrows. So just some horizontal lines for his eyebrows. And then the nose. The nose you have a couple of choices. You could do a nose like a triangle and then give him the nose holes or the nostrils at the bottom you could do something that looks like a triangle with the top cut off. You're going to draw a short line here and a big wide line at the bottom and then you connect the ends and then do the nose holes again or nostrils. Or if you want to draw it kind of looking more like a human nose, you would do a small U. Well, I'm sorry, a short U. It's wide, but it's short. And then on this side, you're going to draw a letter C. That's a curved line. You start above the U, swing down, and touch the side of the U. And then you do a backwards letter C on the other side that swings down and touches the U. Almost like a W, but it's a little bit more like a nose and less like a W. So I want you to pick one of these noses and draw it underneath the eyes of your monster. Now we're going to do the mouth and it's going to fill up the remaining space of your monster. So if your nose is short, you're going to have a really big mouth. If your nose is long like mine, you're going to have a slightly smaller mouth. But you're going to draw an oval that goes around the bottom inside of your monster. Try to fill up that whole space. So make it really wide, but make it fit inside your monster. And then you're going to draw another oval that's smaller that fits right inside this oval that makes it kind of look like a donut. And then decide what kind of teeth you want. Do you want zigzag teeth like this monster? Or do you want round curvy teeth like this monster? If you're going to do curvy teeth, you do a bumpy line. If you're going to do zigzag teeth, you do a zigzag line. But you're going to do one of those lines at the top here. And then another line at the bottom. And make sure that these the lines of the teeth, the zigzag or the bumpy, do not touch each other. Leave a little bit of gap in there. And now your monster's complete. My monster needs to have hair all the way around. And then you're going to trace your pencil lines. So you're going to go over all of your pencil lines with a black marker. If you get a black marker that's not working, it's kind of gray or it's fading, please throw it away and get a new one. The eyes, the ovals inside the eyes, I want you to fill those in with black marker. I want you to fill in the nose holes or the nostrils with black marker.
And then I also want you to fill in this space between the teeth, not the teeth. The teeth are going to stay white. We don't want black teeth. We want white teeth. So this space between the teeth, because your teeth are not touching, I didn't want them to touch. So this space here, you're going to fill with black marker too. Until your monster looks like this, except it's missing this part that's colored in. All right, now you're ready to color in with crayon. So I want you to pick a color for the nose, any color you want for the nose, and color your nose that color, whatever color you want. Black, brown, green, blue, red. Then pick a color for this ring, the donut around the mouth. Again, whatever color you want, color that in completely. Try not to leave any white showing where you where you're coloring with crayon. Obviously, we're going to leave the teeth white and the white the eyes white. And then you're going to pick a third and final color to do this space, the monster space around the eyes, around the nose, around the mouth. Um, so you're going to want to pick a color that you like because that's going to um, you're going to have to use it a lot. So you don't want to pick a color you don't like. You want to pick a color you do like, and you're going to color in his face. So you're going to go around the nose. You're going to fill in the cheeks. You're going to go around the eyes. Go up to the tippy top of the head. Go between the eyes very carefully. If you have some space between the eyes, maybe your eyes are touching and there is no space and that's okay. Go around the other eye. And then go down and around the mouth. Now, if the mouth touches the bottom of your paper, then obviously you can't go around the bottom of it. But mine does not touch the bottom of my paper, so I can go around the mouth. And I want you to fill this in nice and solid. So wherever you see any white spaces that you miss, go back and fill it in with that same color crayon. And then you have a finished go wet or uh, a finished monster under my bed drawing.